Feels kind of weird to be back on the microphone. So for those who don't know me, I'm Asus Gamer, an old YouTuber who did lots of like generally incorrect and poorly executed videos about TF2. I really want to just take 5 minutes to explain why I'm making this video, explain the current state of TF2, and explain where I really want this channel to be heading. To keep it like sort of brief, I quit YouTube about 2-3 years ago, which is really why I haven't been posting much, because mostly I felt my content was like really not up to standards and generally poorly received, which is 100% deserved. I decided to take a break from making videos and jump into competitive TF2. So around the same time, I quit the trading scene as well completely. I sold all my unusuals, I sold everything I had of value, and I really don't regret it. It was probably one of the best decisions I ever took in my life. Uh, I also changed my general alias from quote-unquote Asus Gamer because it sounds really stupid to Aegis, which is like a whole other story for another time. Um, so yeah, I joined competitive too. I really took a, a liking to playing Highlander, which is 9v9 for those who don't know. Uh, 9v09, one of each class, and I main soldier. The team that I joined was called Dunning-Kruger Effect, or DK, and uh, for those who may be familiar with the team, you may have seen it on EXTV casts or EVL casts. 15 seconds though, DK just has to throw everybody out here. They got spawns coming. Their heavy weapons guy goes down. There's a kill Ten on seconds. Milo though. Sniper, Pyro, Demo, the only ones defending the card it's so here, close. Four, three, three seconds, wow. Wee, what DK. a capture, what a final push. DK getting it done. Five, less than five seconds left on the clock. And the team with the name Dunning Kruger Effect is actually really funny if you go look it up. So the team eventually progressed through like every division. We played Steel, Silver. We finished first in Gold, and then we complete, competed for five seasons in Platinum, which is the highest division, at a, like a top three level with two podium finishes. Our last roster was... In case you know these players, Banny, myself, Spyro, Zan, Carl, Josh, Medui, Axiomatic, and HNG. I think a couple of them stream a little bit. I know Banny's really popular in the TF2 community. We're shutting him down. Banny looking in as normal, just trying to scout out that offensive push. But right now, Frag's uh, pretty few and far between as both teams just preparing for <gasps> this. Oh, oh, oh. Banny! Banny just ran in between the demo and the heavy and dropped the medic! Are you kidding me, Banny? Like, wow. where is the protection? So yeah, I acquired a lot of experience through all these seasons, and like, looking back on my past content, I felt there was a really a lot of room to improve on. So, I kind of like self-reflected on what the state of TF2 videos are in general. I really want to put out something that's interesting, educational, and entertaining for new and experienced players. What it means is like, I really want to revisit some old videos which you probably shouldn't be really taking seriously, like my quote-unquote advanced guides, and applying a more experienced and analytical approach to them. Things like, I think these things are really important, like how to play smart given a certain situation, what's the best possible course of action that you as a player can take to ensure the success of your team, and how to learn from your mistakes to becoming a better player. All this, it, like, it helps all players. It helps new players, help experienced players, it helps for, especially pubs for, for players who are just starting out TF2, and it gives an extra push for players who are going to be going to the matchmaking update that's supposed to come out at the end of the year. Uh, I believe, like, a push in this sort of content will, will, again, benefit, like, all the new players who are going to be coming in for the matchmaking content. No whether or not that's going to be a lot of players. And it's going to benefit even those who don't care at all about competitive. I want to make my videos like as broad as possible to benefit the largest amount of people possible. So I want to use my experience that I gained over like nine seasons of competitive to give back to the community in a way that I really wasn't able before and I think it really sucks. I want to teach things that like aren't exactly obvious like the importance of pocketing scouts and demo man for example. Those things dominate the high level metagame but aren't exactly obvious in pubs and stuff like that. And I understand that, as I said before, competitive doesn't appeal to all players, so this content generally will touch all aspects of gameplay. So yeah, I want to focus on high quality, educational, and entertaining videos just for everyone. And I really want to thank everyone who just took the time to listen to me rant or talk like this. I understand I haven't been the best in the past, but I believe like this new experience can benefit the entire community as a whole. I'm really interested in hearing your feedback about this, especially on what aspects you guys want me to cover. The, the video I'm currently working on right now I think is really interesting. I want to I want to make a video that explains pretty much the biggest barrier towards improving for new players and even experienced players make, make these kind of mistakes, which is how to make the most out of a particular life in TF2 and how to properly learn from your mistakes. Like in the past year of mentoring people, new experienced players, um, the biggest mistakes that people make 
is that they don't attribute importance to their life and often they lose games because they think they're disposable. I really want to explain this further in detail, but like that's for another video. So again, thanks for watching this video. I really don't have anything else more to add to this. I just a sincere thank you to everyone and I'm really looking forward to making new content again that will be entertaining to watch and help the community as a whole. So thanks guys with the uber and now uh that is going to be hard with some advantage but mts players over on the flank side are going down and axiomatic's gonna find barb as well and he just comes through to clean up on some frags he's on a 5k and dk uh managed to pull off a very solid push there and it's just akuma that's alive right now they want to steamroll this right in the last going in through lower main they're getting a couple of respawns mts's but dk is just flooding this point very very hard and they will collect up on the final cap as well as a round and make it two to one.